Michelle, the Children's Librarian of the Sheridan County Public Library System, and welcome to Bookmarks, where I share with you a book that you're going to want to come to our library and check out. This is called The Water Bears by Kim Baker. Now, water bears usually are a scientific thing. They're little teeny tiny things, and but this one, I think these are bigger bears, and this book starts out like this. Chapter 1. I turned 13 the day after a storm came in with a king tide. High tides climb up part of the shore, but a king tide can make the whole beach disappear. It squeezed Murphy Island until seawater rose and salted the trees. The smell of waves pushed through the woods, through the cracks around my bedroom window, and washed away the dredge of a bad dream. People notice details when they hope a day might be special. It could be a surprise visitor day. A, hey, I'm starting to grow a mustache day, or blow out the candles on your favorite cake day. I found my mom on the computer in my brother Callis's old room. I stood in the doorway behind the desk where she couldn't see my leg. I'm an expert at keeping furniture between us, especially when it's hot enough for shorts. Even with the desk and standing with my good leg in front of the bad one, mom was careful not to look down. She hugged me and sang, happy birthday, like an opera singer. I clapped for the effort. Where are dad and little Letty, I asked. I thought they might be getting me my present. My sister always waits until last minute, or they've gone to the bakery to pick up a cake. Dan used to make our favorites at home, but he's working more this year. They're down at Gertrude Lake. Everyone's down there, she said, everyone but us. She brushed dog hair off the keyboard and straightened a stack of bills. Your dad saw it this morning. Saw what? The first thing I thought of couldn't be right, but she said anyway. He sarked Marlow. She smiled again. That was a good news or joke or the start of a conversation. She stretched and turned back to the computer, scrolling through recipes and fishing reports. There was nothing to say back. Marbleau is a creature that supposedly lives in Gertrude Lake in the middle of the island. Optimistic tourists rent paddle boards and pump quarters into the telescopes on the beach hoping to see it. There's a warning at the paddle boat stand that boaters might get eaten. It's a joke with the locals. Every year Marbleau is spotted before the Marbleau Festival. But in blurry pictures could be a lake monster if you squint or there could be logs. We have a lot of logs. I walk slowly over the squishy mud so my leg won't be too sore for the way back home. I almost stepped on a salamander, but I shoot him off the path into the fern. Islands are shaped like things, the way clouds are shaped like things. On a map, Murphy looks like a wonky avocado half, 37 miles from the mainland. Rocky beaches and smooth mud flats are the skin, and Gertrude Lake is in the pit. Everything else is creamy green stuff that grows brown if you leave it out. Dad stood with a pack of friends he calls comrades, beside a disabled that Mom helped build out of old farm equipment and blue bottles. The bottles hummed from a lake breeze, and Dad waved his arms towards the water. Just 40 feet that way, he said. It spy hop and breached like a humpback, but leaner and more serpent-like. It splashed down hard enough to slosh a wave up onto the shore. Dad points to his still wet shoes. The guys around him nod, and a waiter comes out from the cafe across the street to sell coffee and pastries to everyone standing around. Hey, buddy, ready for summer? Tom, with the beard, tilted his head and smiled at me. He runs the paddle boat station, and he's not my buddy. He asked how physical therapy was going, like he should get points for knowing about it. I said it was done, and I said I was brave, and squeezed my shoulder, which was absolutely worse. I shrugged, and he left to rent a paddle boat to tourists. Somebody could ride a blue cat boat or a purple fox boat out to look for Marbolo. Tom with the beard must have left the paddle boats unchained because a couple of them drifted around the lake like lost pets. Little Letty sat in the orange zebra boat, still chained to the dock. She threw a basketball up and down and caught it over and over. Newt, come here, Dad pulled me in for a hug. Happy birthday, Mejio. Thirteen, you feel different? I shook my head. Can you believe it? I didn't know he was talking about turning thirteen or, or Marbolo. He spun around when somebody asked him about the reward. A cryptozoologist club in Portland offered $3,000 a while back to anyone who could prove that Marbolo lived in the lake. The lake isn't huge. It's a pretty safe bet that the club will never have to write that check, no matter what Dad says. The club has reward offers for Sasquatch and Jackalopes, too. It's kind of an operation. I'm going to put my bookmark here because I do want to find out, is Marvelo real or not? You can re read The Water Bears by Kim Baker and find out. And also find out, is something interesting going to happen? I don't know. But you know what? Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you later, but I really have to get back to reading this. Oh, and you brighten my day, but I gotta keep reading. Mm -hmm. Ooh.